Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Ooh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. No, I should have done cardio before the show. Jesus Christ, this light ramp is long. Brooke face off. More. Oh, yeah. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, ignore that uh, terrible TLC thing on top. So, there's a few I things that still need to be. It. Oh, well. Yeah, still. I can see it. I can't. I have to be I close. Are you on your, are your graphics on six? Yeah, I have to be really close to Zetron pictures. I don't know why. I can I can see them from like the rain. I don't know why, but all right. Uh, so oh, oh. so uh so if you can see, I'm probably gonna narrow. I'm gonna make this ring less colored, but I want it just have a tint. So we're just showing off basically everything that's in this arena thus far. Um, that was a basic show off of my entrance stuff like that. The PvP um, arena. Some yes, this is the pay per view arena. We're hoping that it isn't too too laggy. Uh. Yeah, I'm still trying to fix a couple of things. I just wanted to show off basically what we have so we can also get suggestions because we are just seven days away from the pay-per-view. So I will fly around and have fly on and off. So as you can see, we got our ring. Uh, if Brooke goes really far out, you can see that it, the ramp is a lot larger. The stage is much, much, much larger. Uh, the stage the you're coming down from, it's like yeah. you come up from the floor. Yeah, so it's like, you know, and also it's extremely far back, so no, you cannot see per a person's name before they come out. Uh, we recommend that if you're going to, you know, have a surprise entrance or you're just entering in general, we, that you stay back here roughly so your name can't be seen. Yeah, That's I don't think they'll be able to see it anyway because the stage is so big, but... Yeah, I don't think you can see it at all, but just for safety, we'll test. Um, So, Brooke, if you zoom out, uh, go really far, I'll show the lights changing. You may have seen it briefly, but I'm going to show them, like, full full view so everything that's really bright changes color so in good cool looking sequences yeah and so they can change to any color you want so that's that's cool uh we got all our pretty sure we got all our match stipulations in for the majority all all the rings and the secret teleports work the recording i don't think it works right now oh, uh, these things are ladders over here because it's tables ladders and chairs yeah i think the plan is that kids is gonna like decorate per pay-per-view so it's like, you know, table ladders and chairs, it's ladders. Oh, my bad. Et cetera. Uh, ignore the fact that that doesn't work. I'm just working on a couple of different things. So I'm going to show off our new pyro system, Brooke, if you want to open up. Oh, yeah, effects. you know what? Um, Can you let me do it so that people can see how it works? Yeah, sure. I'll, um, um, just start with stage sides. So basically we have, so this allows a lot of customizability. It looks like just five numbers, but a lot of them do things. So first off, it has the button of what it says it's going to do. So stage sides. So Brooke, uh, when you do it, when you do click that, look at the stage. Uh, so you got your red value, your green What's value, good, and your blue value. Want. What color do you want? Uh, hold on. So basically, the red value, the green value, and the blue value work sort of like ambient. So if you say zero 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 one, it'll be blue. Zero one zero, it's green. One zero zero, it's red. Uh, one one two or one one zero, it's yellow, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All those different combinations will make different colors. Uh, they work slightly worse in particle emitters because that's just how particle emitters work. The length is how rapidly time? the the length is how rapidly it does it. So I'll set the length to uh two and I'll make it blue. Yeah, you could have like longer or shorter fireworks. The length I did when I set off their um, red fireworks, I did 0.5, and obviously they were like quicker. Yeah. And these so, obviously longer, more drawn out. Whereas, yeah, this is 0.5. I don't know if kids explained yet, but you can like mix colors. 
Uh, you mean, like, yeah, like, so you can it's put... like 0.5 red and then, like, some another number green, and it'll, like, make it so a different color or something. Here, I'll, I'll make it 0.5 red, one green, one blue. And it comes <coughs> out as, like, a whitish, like, light Teal. blue color. Yeah, so basically all the numbers on to one makes white. All the numbers off uh, is invisible because they don't really have a black. Um, anyway, moving on. So then we have the smoke, which sort of has the same layout, but it doesn't have the length or the loops because it's just a solid on and off. So, Brooke, if you want to make, like, red smoke or something. Yeah, I'll do red smoke. I did rant smoke instead of the other one. Sorry. So basically they're all the same thing here. I'll, I'll put them all on just for the hell of it. So... You got uh, smoke in your ring area. It's really, really thick, so duly note that. But yeah, it can cover the stage. It can cover, and you know, you can make them darker depending on what you want. Uh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> uh, moving forth, you, if you make them all 0.5, it makes it a lot darker. And then yeah. you turn them all off, and it dissipates. Looks pretty cool. Um, basically, you can get like pretty much a lot of color combinations from it, and it's really awesome. Well, a lot. You can get literally any color you want because that's yeah. what every single color in Roblox is made of. So uh, look at the ramp. Yep. So just to give you an idea of what you want for Pyro, this is your ramp Pyros. This is your ring Pyros. Look at ring. Yep. Obviously the color changes per entrance. Yeah, like you can make it any color you want. Um, arena, so it's on top. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, you got your, uh, and then your Minitron sides, which are incorrectly labeled, and I apologize for that. But I will be labeling it different, but it doesn't really matter, as long as the admins know what it is. So it can be any amount of time in between, so I'm going to make it point one and show you how quick it'll do it, and I'll make it like 20 loops. Yeah. I'm going to make it point zero zero one and see how it does it. It's like really quick. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So, all kinds of different options there when it comes to pyro, good lighting. You can add Minitron images, which will go away, mind you. Uh, the TLC image won't look so bloody ugly. I apologize for that. I kind of just took, did, used a placeholder, so do not think that that ugly piece of work is actually going to be our image. And if you haven't seen it yet, unfortunately, I don't have an image up here to show. But right here, we're going to have like a match card sort of display. So, say the match is, uh, we'll do Dodor versus Felden, because we know that one's happening. So, over here would be Dodor or Felden. doesn't really matter which one. And then on the other side, over here, which takes forever to get over here if you're flying, it would be the other competitor, Falden yeah. or Dota, whichever one. So, also, something else I should note, and I didn't mention, um, is, one, when you're running away, this is for those that will run around on the stage, speed me 32, I just want you guys to, ins to ensure you know, this part will be unaccessible, but this part will. There will be an invisible wall at this point, so this corner right here is like your point. So you can go over here, and duly note, you cannot climb the ladders. Yeah, they uh, can't collide off. So no, you cannot climb up there and hide oh, there. Oh, John, should I show off the advanced menu? Oh yeah, the advanced menu. So it's if you can see, you got your basic as normal. You got your image code, you so just put your... Oh, sorry. Oh, what? Go ahead. Hmm? Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean for that. Um, can, Moving on. So you can add your uh, image code, so basically just go to a decal on Roblox. You just go to uh, develop and then go to library, and then find your decal, or if it's in your inventory, whatever the hell it is, paste the code, and if it doesn't work, like, you'll see the image on there. Um, so, Brooke, here, if you want, I'll send you a code on Skype. Just put that in. Sure. All right, All right. so... Oh, shit, shit. There you go. Put that code in. So it should work normally. Not, like, 90% of them will work. If if you come across one of the other 10% where it doesn't work, um then minus one from the code. So for this one, the last number would be eight. And if the last number is zero, you minus the two numbers. It seems simple, but a lot of people have problems with that. So if it's five, zero, change it to four, nine. So just subtract one, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, you got your LEDs. You got your spotlights. Your spotlights, to be clear, are like, I'll change the spotlights right now. So it's like the color of the lighting. Typically, it's white. But I mean, if you want like a you know color-themed entrance, then whatever whatever works for you. Um, your LED lights are like I'll change these. It's like everything. Oops, sorry, my bad. Uh, is everything that's colored? So anything that is actually physically colored will be that. So um, next, you go into nameplate. I don't have the nameplate in right now to show you. I don't think. Oh, I do. I don't have the trigger block. So just say I put in Kid Jericho. You get the point. Yeah. And 
Then Minitron. Um, Minitron, Minitron is this thing that has kids' code on it right now. Yeah, so, so this will be it. So you want to find one that works. I would not recommend you put your Titantron image on there unless your Titantron image does look good like that. I recommend something different. I mean, if you want to make a special one for it, then that's fine. Mine, I didn't make a special one. I just found one right off decals. And it doesn't look too bad. It looks a little stretched and strewed, which is why you kind of want to. But it is relatively proportionate, so it will work. So that's your tips. So please remember, you can't climb up the ladders. There is a barrier right here, but not here, so you can run. You can also and the go ladders behind. won't always be here either, because it wouldn't lot, make sense yeah. to just have random ladders there at Royal Rumble or like WrestleMania. You know. Yeah, and we'll be doing tests on this arena, because I also want to ensure that it doesn't lag too much. Also, the arena won't be so bright and vibrant blue. I didn't think it would be this, this blue. We might but do a show here before the pay-per-view just to test for lag purposes. It doesn't seem too laggy to me. I mean, it's like really good for I was app. a little bit laggy yesterday, but... Well, that was. I think we were just generally laggy, to be fair, because I'm actually, actually just as good, if not better, than the normal arena right now, which is weird because I thought it being bigger would actually cause me lag. But normally I'm at like 20 plus for we the should, arena. I think I'm we should still probably good. test it though, just in case. I know we'll test it, and if we not, have I've, like a bad. We did. You made like two arenas, and like both of them were laggy, and we had to switch back. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm just taking the thing here. Oh yeah. So basically, you got everything you need. It's really big, and uh, lots awesome. of pyro options. Really, a lot of pyro options. You can actually make a huh. really great entrance out of this. And if you do have a special entrance in mind, please message me. I will do my best. No promises. And no, you can't escape through the roof. There is actually invisible walls blocking you. So I re recommend that it, for non-match purposes, I recommend you turn your graphics up to 6 or higher. Just because it will. Actually, I don't know about 6. I'll test. Actually, I'll do a test right now. Yeah, six would probably be your. I should testing. I'm just Three. doing some views of the arena from up high. Three so would be good idea. if you're all right not seeing the top floor. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend going too high though. The LED looks really bad, so maybe three would be good. Yeah, three looks pretty good. So I will just test with the pyro because some of the pyro also they minimize how many pi uh, particles you see. So I'm just gonna test. Yeah, five is usually good. So I'd say between five and three, if you're abs if you're not explosively laggy and uh, you're not in a match. For a match, I recommend just one. I really do. Yeah. Uh, also, there's gonna be confetti. I do actually have the confetti made. I just don't have a script for it. Oh, it yeah, looks that's pretty what good. I was gonna ask you. It does look pretty good, I think. But yeah, uh, Brooke confirms. But it's good for celebratory for anyone that wins their big matches, especially for whoever wins the RCW uh, tournament. tournament. So it's going to be good. So you're not going to want to miss TLC. Seven days from now, I don't know when Brooke's going to upload this. I think she'll upload it now. Probably but like right now. Yeah. Okay. So uh, 6 o'clock PM EST. Pre-show starts at about 5, 5.30. Actually, that is wait. next week, Sunday the 20th. Yep. Sunday the 20th. Be sure to be there. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day. <laughs>